Hi, it's Cyprian from FU for All. Um, and in today's video, I'd like to present to you how to actually uh, compile some C code, Fortran code, uh, C++ code very easily on Windows. Um, if you're trying to learn a computer language like C, Fortran, or, uh, or C++, well, it, on Linux and these kind of systems, uh, you have a lot of development tools which are directly embedded so it's it's quite easy to just with a line of code write a simple file compile it and just see the results and learn from uh, from your code now on windows um, the general way to go for that is well maybe to install visual studio uh, or these kind of microsoft tools but if you try to do that, you know, those kind of tools take a lot of place on your computer. They are kind of huge. And uh, even if some of them are free now, uh, the most advanced option remain uh, made paid options. And there is no Fortran compiler into, into Visual Studio. So uh, I'd like to show you a very easy way to actually do what you can do on Linux, but on PC. And yes, you can do it. So this is the... Microsoft Windows prompt, for example, and like now I am into my code and I can even use ls commands like Linux to display the content of my folder. And this is the Windows prompt. This is not Ubuntu. Um, and I'm able to use commands such as, uh, you know, gcc hello world.c to compile my file and get an executable. So like that, you can very easily uh, you can easily train yourself to, to do some coding and things like that. So how do you actually install this GCC and those kind of program on Windows? Well, if you search on the internet how to install GCC on Windows, well, you will find a lot of complex stuff. Uh, it's actually very difficult to, to do it because you'll have to compile it from sources and all, all of these kind of things. But actually, you don't need to. Uh, I found a very easy way to install all the software just in a few clicks. So I wrote a detailed uh, article on the blog which explains how to do this with, um, with written words so you can uh, have all the codes that I'm entering here inside the blog post. But now in this video, I'll just let me just tell you how to do it, how to do it. So there is something called msys2, which is um, which is basically some kind of software distribution uh, and building platform for Windows. So if you if you used a bit Linux, you know that you have things like apt get something that allows you to install software very easily. Well, this msys2 has similar kind of structure. Like there is a package management system called Pacman, which allows you with one line of code to install uh, things. So uh, so I wrote it on the blog post. So you can use things like Pacman as uh, and install GCC just like that in one line of code. Really easy. And to, to set up this msys2, it's really, really easy. You just have to download this. So choose the 64-bit version for your PC if you have a 64-bit system. Uh, install that. And it's really straightforward. And once you have installed this on your computer, um, you have to... First, do, you have to update it, uh, so use this command. So what it does is that you, you will have a special msys2 uh, software that will appear in your programs. So just open this, it will open a Windows like, uh, window like that. Then enter pacman uh, syu to update this, and then you will be able to use this kind of commands to install any kind of package that you want. Now the last thing to do, which is important, is if you want to use them in the normal command prompt, like I'm doing like that, you have to add this to your um, you have to add this to your Windows path. Um, so to add add this to your Windows path, uh, open the Advanced System Settings window, Environment Variables, and in this window, you have a uh, Path Edit. And just add those two links into uh, into your environment variable. And once you do that, it's only four or five steps 
um, and the longer is probably just to download MSYS2 but the installation is quite straightforward and once you did all that you're able to um, you're able to get all those kind of compilers on Windows so you will have G Fortran also installed as you see now I, I didn't give it any input files so it gives me an error but it, it is here it is available uh, and if you're interested you can use this method in order to compile your Fortran code uh, on Windows as well very easily uh, and by the way I have a series of uh, video tutorials to teach you about Fortran and I'll probably I made a few I'll make a few videos about C or C++ also in the future uh, so keep uh, keep watching my blog and subscribe to the newsletter if int interests you. So if you like this video and you think it was useful, please just uh, give it a, th a thumb up. Uh, it's very useful. Thank you very much. Uh, and I hope you, you enjoyed it. So thank you very much for uh, watching my videos and re reading my blog.